So, this is it. The flame of our love was a burning furnace of passion and hope. But now, the flame of our love has dwindled under the bitter cold frostiness of your heart. Everything we have, had, gone. After everything we've been through, you're just going to walk away? I never thought you could do this to me, but I wanted to believe there was such a thing as love. <laughs> what a fool I've been. What a damn fool. What now? I can't live knowing you're out there able to inflict this kind of pain on others. So I'm going to have to kill you. Don't look at me like that. Please, Stevie. You don't have to do this. I love you, Stevie. Take me back and we can be together forever. Oh, if only it were that simple. What about the children? The children are dead. Stevie! Oh, you've got a thought about the children before you shut up my heart, you evil devil whore. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so delicious. Such a big. Good evening. And I'm um, going to turn that back straight. Anyway, right, look. <laughs> Don't bite. Who's this joker on the floor? The body of a male jogger was discovered in Dagenham Lake this morning by a local dog walker. The identity of the man has been confirmed to be charity worker and fourth time Humanitarian of the Year award winner, Dave Fisher. Police are treating this situation as suspicious. Susan Boyle is down by Dagenham Lake with a friend of Mr Fisher, Jimmy Spann. Thanks Gloria. Yes, I'm here at Dagenham Lake where literally two people have gathered to pay their respects to a man who would appear to have been one of the greatest men ever. I'm joined now by a close friend of Mr Fisher's, a Mr Jimmy Spann. Uh, Jimmy, what can you tell me about the kind of man he was? Well, Susan, I was a heroin addict for many years. I turned my back on the world. I figuratively took a massive shit on the nightmare that was my life. And then Dave. Dave. He never saw the crack snuffing, piss soaked tramp that everybody else saw. He saw a man who needed help and a bath and I'll never forget the day that he saved my life he looked at me he looked into my soul Susan into my very being and he said sort it out mate that hit me hard that did and I, I did sort it out, yeah? I mean, since then, you know, I felt the overwhelming urge to take an ecstasy or whiz my tits off to space land, but I don't. And it's all because of Dave. He brought joy onto everyone he ever met. He was a glimmering light of happiness in an otherwise dreary world like a bucket in a sand pit. And what kind of an impact would you say his death has had on this community? Life. It doesn't seem worth living without him. In all seriousness, Susan, I'm going to go home now 
and shoot myself in the face. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Well, there you have it. The death of Mr Fisher has literally torn this community apart. I think I speak on behalf of the whole community when I say the people that did this really were shits. What we all have to remember no! is... <laughs> oh dear. It would appear someone's a bit ducked off. Gloria, back to you. Thanks, Susan. Twat. Here's a clip of Mr Fisher being interviewed just weeks before his body was discovered. You've just won Humanitarian of the Year Award for the fourth year in a row. How does it feel? I don't deserve this award. The children lying in the hospital bed, riddled with disease, they deserve this award. The librarians giving knowledge to the world, they deserve this award. The mothers taking their children to school every day, they deserve this award. The postman delivering letters filled with words of love and joy. They deserve this award. So you tell me, why should I get this award? For loving them for what they do? Life is just like a wheel. And that's how I roll. Stevie! <laughs> wow. The greatest man ever? Probably. In other news, uh, the Duchess of Cambridge gives birth to her second child. But the question we're all wondering is who actually gives a fuck? Cup of tea, anyone? 